Servicemen in the Kherson region were fired upon by a drunk Ukrainian soldier. A soldier opened automatic rifle fire at other members of the 11th Regiment deployed in the village of Chernobyevka near Kherson, leaving one person dead and another wounded, local media report. Three draftees were secretly drinking spirits while on duty inside the guard box when a quarrel broke out, and one of the soldiers from a Kalashnikov killing another soldier on the spot and wounding the third man in the leg. The issue of Ukraine's possible accession to NATO requires a NATO-wide referendum, Ukrainian Prime Minister Arseniy Yatsenyuk said Monday after a meeting in the Belgian capital with the North Atlantic Alliance's Secretary General, Jens Stoltenberg. In light with current Ukrainian legislation, we will have to hold a referendum on the proposed agenda of NATO membership, Yatsenyuk said. We remember earlier the Ukrainian government had stated that the decision to join NATO is already taken. Belgium has been brought to a standstill as air, rail and ferry workers NATO-wide embark on their biggest strike in years. The 24-hour walkout over the government austerity policies is set to ground 600 flights into and out of the country. The protesters are led by a number of leading trade unions and began in November when clashes broke out as more than 100,000 protesters marched in Brussels against the government austerity measures. The new Belgian government, which assumed power in a October has caused unrest with plans to raise the retirement age, cancel wage rise for government workers in line with inflation, and cut health and social security benefits, moves that protesters say undermine the country's welfare state. Hundreds of children, some as young as five-year-old, are being trained for combat in a military camp in Araka, Syria, by Islamic State militias, UN humanitarian chief Valeri Amos has told to the Security Council. According to Amos, some 350 children undergo training at the ES camp in Araka, and reports of children killed or public executed, crucified, beheaded and stoned to death, particularly by ISIL, have increased in recent months. Recently, Kurdish refugees from Kobani in northern Syria reported the capture of young girls by ISIL for sexual purposes, Amos added, speaking to the UN Security Council Monday. We thank our information partners for help with spreading this video news. Subscribe to our channel to receive up-to-date information on the situation in Ukraine and current geopolitical events in Europe.